All right, welcome to Buffalo Plus Abroad. We're here in <laughs> London, Mike Catalana. I'm Jenna Cottrell. Dan Fates manning the fort back in Rochester, New York. But uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Buffalo Plus channel if you enjoy our stuff. Uh, share. Uh, hey. We got the tough assignment. We're here in London this week. You know, it's funny. You just said that, and I was thinking, this is a monumental thing for Buffalo Plus. Now, we know we've had some viewers. We're in international, different baby. <laughs> we've had viewers. We've had them reach out to us and tell us that yeah. they are here in Europe. But, you know, now we're bringing the show here. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's been great so far. And I think it's going to get better. I, I completely agree. Um, it's been really cool to see... Already so many Bills fans. We're getting, we got here on Wednesday. Wednesday. We oh, don't really, I know. My days are all screwed up. I don't know. Where, like, yeah, it's, the flight was great, but it's, I don't know where I am. Hey, now, hold on. <laughs> the flight was great because I basically got you first class, didn't I? You, uh, you did finagle our way to <laughs> getting a row without a middle seat. Yes. So that is what, what we would say is the poor man's version of first yeah. class. Uh, Jenna was on the window. Yeah. I was on the aisle and no one was in the middle. No. That was a win. We started the week with a win. Okay, I will say though, you were very pessimistic. Every time someone would walk down the aisle, he'd be like, nope, they're coming to sit here. Nope, and I was like, that's a terrible attitude to have, Mr. Catalana. It was, I was doing the whole, you know, like speak it into non-existence. Like no, I was that's saying- that's not a thing. It is a thing. You just keep saying it and then it won't happen. That's what I was doing. Okay, I don't think that's I kept how it looking works. looking and I would see people, I'm like, that guy's heading for this seat or that woman's heading for this seat. And I told you at one point I was just going to tell them no. <laughs> I don't think you can do that, can you? I don't know. I, I would have tried, <laughs> honestly. No, we had a great flight in. Um, but again, I'm already surprised by like how many Bills fans we've seen. Yeah. So right now we're in Trafalgar Square in London. There's yeah. actually a Bills bar or there's a bar behind us that already has Bills flags out there. A bunch of people we talked to. I, I don't know. Is it? I, I know Bills fans travel well. That's yeah. that's not surprising, but just to already see this many people out here is, I, I was impressed. This is my sense of the difference. I was here eight years ago when they yeah. played, and it felt like we were getting a lot of European Bills fans, people that had come across the Bills through the years, yeah. and, and a few that travel. I think there's a lot that are traveling. Now, again, I this agree. is not taking over Nashville here. This yeah. is a long trip, yeah. an expensive trip to come over here, but people are very excited yeah. and they're using this as a trip you know we ran into yeah. a couple of women from buffalo that yeah. are like we're going to paris we're doing these other things but the highlight of the trip is the bills and the way they're playing and exactly. the way fans feel right now jenna people that are here and even when you're watching at home yeah. are really excited about what they're going to see and we got to talk actually today from a guy mac mcmahill he is from western new york he actually moved here to london five years ago and he's talked about that josh allen effect and how now there's just so much more NFL passion here in the city. And then also he sees so much more Bills gear because of what 17 does, the national exposure. He's a house, he's becoming a household name in, in America. Yeah. And it's interesting to see that kind of effect over here with all the Bills wet hats and stuff. And I think it's pretty cool. And especially since they're really good. Yeah. It's like you said, it's just so different than eight years ago. Well, he said it and you guys know it. It's like if you follow any other sport, right? I, I mean, if you're following, you know, Lionel Messi, yeah. he's a star, yeah. right? So yeah. that's how you start rooting for his team because you want to root for a star. Yeah. And the people over here that are learning the game, they're going to look and say, what team wins? Yeah. Who do I like watching play? And Josh Allen is the type of guy. Look. Mahomes and the Chiefs are popular. They yeah. win, yeah. they have Mahomes. It's yeah. what you kind of expect. Yeah. But Josh Allen and the Bills have become that international team. I mean, obviously, you know, yeah. Western New York first, but there's fans all over the place that have joined in. Yeah. They've become Bills Mafia, you know, just a little farther across and they are loving seeing this team, and now they get to see them up close. I think it's so cool. They probably couldn't find Buffalo on a, on a map, which is no slight because geography is not my strong suit. But like, you they can can't, find Buffalo I can't, on a map. For yeah. the record, I can. <laughs> also, for the record, my eyes are just red. Okay. I yes. I'm just jet lagged. I'm sure there's going to be comments. I'm just jet lagged. Oh, really? You think people would make comments? They never comment about Dan. <laughs> um, all right. Sean McDermott, the team is not coming till later this week. 
this is an, an interesting challenge because Again, eight years ago, they came out for the whole week. It was Rex Ryan. They ended up losing that game to Jacksonville. But the Bills having a different kind of plan of attack and coming later on in the week, what do you make of that? So the last time, I actually, I wasn't traveling with the team, but I was doing work with the team. So it was like uh, staff and sponsors. And I remember they had a game against the Bengals. Mm -hmm. And then they said, like, come back in like three hours. We're heading out because that's what they did. Players went home, got some other stuff, yeah. and they left. And they were here for the whole week. And they practiced at the same place they are this yeah. week. And, you know, it was, I know they had some events. They had some things going on. It was a bit of a show yeah. for the Bills to sort of show off the team yeah. a little bit. <laughs> this is a business trip. <laughs> it really is. And I can tell you just how the way we feel. Now, we're flying on a commercial plane with a connection. Yeah. Okay? That's what happens. They're flying on a charter. But it is a bit of an adjustment physically to sort of get your mind as what the time is. Now, I think Sean McDermott is taking a very Sean McDermott approach. Sports science, this is what yeah. they're telling them, and this is the way the Bills are handling it. They're going to fly over and basically get their body set on the time yeah. that the game's going to be played, play the game, and fly home. I will say uh, I'm not a peak physical athlete as one can imagine but it it is shocking how much it kind of does hit you yeah like how that jet lag feels and again you're right the bills have a charter plane they're going from buffalo to heathrow all that stuff but i wouldn't expect this the, to be the approach because i guess in my eyes it's like oh you want to get adjusted earlier on in the week so your body's feeling better but you're right mcdermott he follows the science he follows what his doctors tell him what they believe all this stuff so i am i'm wondering how that will kind of shape up because football is so physical yeah and if you're coming into this already drained and the Jags we have to mention they are they played on Sunday here they will be here this entire week leading into this Sunday's game I think the key is to get them adjusted with that body clock it for the short period of time like you're right if you had a few more days you know you could get used to it yeah. and then make it more your norm I think they sort of I won't say rush it but they adjust quickly where you basically stay up overnight turn to that time get your body clock there and i don't know how much it impacts them afterward other teams have done this yeah, yeah. the jags have been here for a week plus we're here and they're not thrilled about being over here that long i don't think i would be you're away from your bed your family all of these things your normal routine and for anyone who's been around an nfl team you know how much routine means to these players like yeah. it is crazy how much they live and breathe by that routine so that is something that yeah is, I, I'm I wonder if it'll be a good thing for Jacksonville that it, they've been here that for this long or if it comes to kind of bite them yeah. we'll see all right let's talk some news of the day in terms of the bills I'll start Vaughn Miller okay Vaughn Miller back to practicing today that's a great sign I mean I think we all thought he might have been ready for the start of the season um, practicing is a big step. He's yeah. an older guy. Do you think, what do you think his timeline will be? Look, I think they have to be smart. Um, yeah. Not only is he coming off of major injury, yeah. he has not been able, you know, he, when he's on the pup list, he is not allowed to practice, practice with his correct. teammates. Yeah. So these are his first practices. So you're talking about his game speed. You're talking about his wind, all those things. You know, he hasn't had physical contact that way he just yeah. works out with the trainers that's the NFL rules what this four weeks means and then he's off of it is that he's eligible to practice they yeah. open that window and they bring him back it's pretty rare when a guy jumps right in and plays that week I yeah and he's Von Miller they've made the point that they want him ready for the biggest moments in the biggest games now I'm not saying it's even his knee now Jenna yeah, I yeah. just think in general it's like okay you're gonna practice and you're going to fly over here with the odd schedule, yeah. and then you're going to just throw him out there? Yeah. If I'm betting on it right now, I say he does not play. Maybe it's a few weeks before he plays. Yeah. You know Vaughn. He wanted to play I week say, one. I think this is a Sean McDermott conservative approach, which is just not shocking. No. I think it's, hey, I know you want to be out there. You probably could have been ready, but you're ramping back up into football shape. And we've heard McDermott talk about that during training camp, yeah. the ramp up period and what that is like for a player. And especially a guy who's coming off such a major injury, the age that he is. And I got to say too, the Bills defensive line is playing 
filthy right now. Oh, you, you, that's exactly what I was going to say to you. It's like, yes, you can, believe me, every team in the league could use Von Miller joining yeah. their defensive line, <laughs> yeah. but they are playing Brave well. Brave of you. <laughs> <laughs> they are playing well, so you kind of say, like, there's no, look, it's the Jags, yeah. and it's here. Yeah. It's an odd game, all those things. You want to be at your best. You want to win the game. It's a conference game, all those things. Yeah. They're not saying we don't need them. They're saying is we know when we really need him, and we have to be fair to him because I do think Vaughn would be like, I'm Vaughn, I'll yeah. play. Yeah, agreed. You know, he's 13 years in the league. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. Oh, oh the, fa the, the fountain. fountain. I thought it was yeah. raining. National Gallery over there. It's really, it's very beautiful. Yeah. I mean, this is a cool city. It really, there it is very so much, much is. Yeah. There, it's very impressive. I came here when I was 12, and for some reason it didn't hit the same. <laughs> Yes. I wonder why. Yeah, you were probably a pain. Oh, I braces awful. Yeah, yeah. it's awful. I oh. brought my daughter, and she's not listening. When she was about six, two my two daughters, when she was about 16, 16 year old, she was a royal, <laughs> royal pain. <laughs> Fit right here. Oh my God, That's everything good. was a problem. Yeah. It's just great now, but yeah. that week, ugh. That's tough. That's yeah. tough. All right. Um, let's also talk Josh Allen. He played the Dolphins, therefore that means he wins AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah. After a game where he had more touchdowns than incompletions. Uh, of course. And yeah. time ticks on. <laughs> what did he do? What was the little sign he did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he did. Sorry, Dolphins, that's what he did to you. Look, we were very complimentary of the Dolphins for the week coming in. Yeah. Even Dan, as he was taking his shots at Tua and then taking yeah. his bows, uh, we talked about that's a really good team. Yeah. Definitely. And the Bills toyed with them. Josh Allen destroyed Dominated. them. Yeah. And so him to get, I honestly, I love seeing Josh win it. I think it, it actually plays into his um, MVP uh, chances yeah, because it's going to be how many times have you won Correct, this thing. Yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to see Diggs win it. That's, I, yeah, I get why Allen won it, but I agree. That oh, would have been Allen cool. Allen was awesome, yeah. and he deserved to win yeah. it. Or maybe split it. Diggs was fantastic, but Allen was the guy throwing the ball, and the quarterbacks usually get that. So you could have you could have gone with either one, which tells you it was a good day against Miami. It really was, yeah. And like you said, those AFC East honor or AFC honors, like those do matter in terms of MVP. Yeah. And while Allen says like, ah, it doesn't really, I don't really care. It's like, well, maybe you don't. I, and I, I think he won't admit it. I wouldn't admit it, but like, yeah, obviously you want to win MVP. Yeah, of course, of course he wants to do. win. Um, okay, the other thing I'm going to say, and you know how I spoke into existence, the no one sitting in the middle seat? I'm going to speak another thing into existence. I'm going to keep talking about it when I say speak into existence, that it's not going to happen. The Jags have something oh. over the Bills. It's weird. I saw them here. Oh. I saw them. We saw them in the playoff game. Yeah. We saw that. No, Dan was with Dan, me in that. Yeah awful game against the urban Myers, and they lost that game jim kelly's last game all these things yeah i don't know why the jaguars like now why you say that yeah uh, why they are that team against the bills in an odd way they don't haven't played that many times but it's been that case so they're coming off a win yeah. they've been here they got all that stuff going on so i'm just i just again i'm gonna say it and no one's sitting in the middle seat how's that sound okay all right it is it's odd. surprising. It's surprising when you actually yeah. do look at it. Well, maybe this is the year. Yeah, and it's they got him here again. So, you know, and and the, the difference this game will be, I think there's going to be way more Bills fans in the stands than there was in 2015. Oh, thousand that was percent. a mix of fans from all yeah. over the league. This is uh, there's going to be a lot of Bills fans here. Can I just say something? Yeah. So many people are taking photos of us, and they definitely think we are way more important or famous uh, than we actually are. Buffalo pluses blowing up <laughs> if you guys could see behind the camera it it's so crazy. funny they're all gone Ooh, look at look at who it is Ooh. i heard them say they haven't me. showered in two days <laughs> it's mike and jenna it's mike and jenna <laughs> buffalo are, plus forgetting dan no I, it is I funny saw though people from all over the world they were just yelling like comment subscribe i heard them at least that's what I thought I heard. Yeah, that's exactly what they were saying. All right, we will be in London the rest of the week. Uh, we have you covered for this Bills-Jags game. We'll have plenty more updates to come on the channel. For Mike, I'm Jenna. Thank you so much for watching Buffalo Plus, presented by Connors and Ferris. Please be sure to like, comment, 
subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what we do and also share with a friend because because we're blowing up in europe because <laughs> <laughs> we're <laughs> we're international baby that's it all right thank you for joining us we'll catch it next time here <clears throat> my, my voice hurts on buffalo plus <laughs>